is Tree Lily Butcher. And true to my name, I'm great with knives. <laughs> I believe, as Pablo Picasso once said, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. Since I was 12 years old, I have found unloved and unwanted vintage material and transformed them into high-end hand-cut collage. Basically, I'm a hoarder with a knife. Okay. <laughs> Um, and this was my hobby. I never had any dreams of being a small business owner, and I never showed anyone my art. So I became a waitress. I started Tree Lilies Unemployed and Pregnant in 2020 because I had a baby on the way in the most unprecedented time in recent history. I started out selling plants, pottery, tarot readings, and art at pop-ups around Nashville and beyond. People gravitated most to the art, so that's what I centered my business around selling art prints ranging from $30 to $500 and originals all the way up to $2,500. It was recommended for me to forego notes today, maintain eye contact with the audience, and stop fidgeting for this presentation. <laughs> but that's not my authentic autistic experience. I was diagnosed autistic in uh, April of this year. With 85% of autistic people being unemployed and even with a college degree, and with up to 50% of us not even being verbal, I'm grateful to even be here today. Living with an invisible disability has made connecting with other people very difficult in many areas of my life. So I connect with people through my art. The art of putting together things that don't seem like they belong has always brought me great joy, and I really connect to that. Since starting my business, I have been able to create my own community through collage, and Tree Lilies grew fast. So far in my professional life, I've been able to go fast alone. I've traveled to Chicago, Birmingham, Atlanta, Austin, and everywhere in between slinging art to over 5,000 customers and clients so far. I have set up booths selling prints at local Nashville farmers markets and at one of the largest music festivals in North America, Firefly in Delaware, and multiple arts festivals with a, a day's drive. I threw my own festival, with a dozen other local collage artists on World Collage Day back in March called Collage Palooza. And I'm planning another one called Collage Ween in October. <laughs> I even have my first successful solo gallery show in July. My next plan for Tree Lilies has four growth points. One, wholesale expansion into boutique shops for national physical print sales. Two, gallery collaboration for future group and solo exhibitions. Three, driving online sales through strategic marketing. I currently have my own website and I'm selling my art prints through michaels.com. And in-person sales growth by participating in the right markets and events where I can achieve higher sales. Over 40% of in-person art sales in the United States are at these events. Hmm. Now, my goal is for my three-year-old business to hit six figures this year. And my three-year-old son has stopped taking naps. What I mean to say is I need help. <laughs> but as an autistic ex-waitress college dropout, there's only so much I can do, guys. Um, and so far, I can't really go far at all. In March of this year, I was in a traumatic car wreck, which resulted in my work truck being totaled by an uninsured driver in town. Since then, I've been able to do only about 30% less markets and events than the year prior. In order to grow tree lilies, I need a new work vehicle. This truck must be safe, reliable, durable, and fit all my art and display items inside. I am looking for help in financing this replacement. This fall, I plan on expanding into several new communities, such as Asheville and Greenville. Sharing a family vehicle is inconvenient to my business at best and detrimental at worst. My goal is to reach as many new customers and clients as possible, and I need a community to make this happen. It takes a village to raise a child, and it takes a community to support a business. If you can help me or know someone who can, please find me after this talk. I would love to connect with you, with or without eye contact. Thank you. <laughs>